Hello and welcome to Miss Mashford's Media Quiz. So this one's on newspapers and magazines. It's really useful if you're a media student and you're looking to, to do a bit of revision or if you just fancy passing a bit of time and learning a bit more about newspapers and magazines. I hope you're settled in comfortably and you've got something to write on, so a notepad or a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. Pencil's probably better for the environment. Okay, right, and ready for the questions. Question number one. She's got ten questions in each round. Which newspaper was at the centre of the phone hacking scandal and closed as a result of it? Was it A, The Daily Star, B, News of the World, or C, Daily Planet? Question number two. Newspaper sales continued to fall in 2019, but which newspaper had the smallest drop of 3%? Was it A, The Guardian, B, The Observer, or C, The Times? They're all broadsheet newspapers. Question number three. According to the YouGov poll in 2017, which newspaper is considered the most left-wing? Is it A, The Guardian, B, The Daily Mirror, or C, The Independent? Number four. In the same survey, which newspaper did readers consider the furthest right-wing? Was it A, The Daily Express, B, The Sun, or C, The Daily Mail? Question number five. What is the slogan of The Times newspaper? Is it A, the largest, best and cheapest newspaper in the world? B, Britain's most trusted national newspaper? Or C, all the news you need when you need it? And question number six. This is one for the media studies students. What is the Daily Mirror's slogan? Is it A, fighting for you? B, we're here for you? Or C, a newspaper, not a snooze paper. Sorry for the background noise there, it's quite hot, so the window's open. Question number seven. Which colours are featured on the masthead of the Daily Mirror? A, blue and white, B, black, white and red, or C, red and white? Question number eight. Which newspaper sold the most copies in 2019? A. The Daily Mirror B. The Daily Mail or C. The Sun So they're all tabloids, those newspapers. Question number nine. Which group of readers is the Daily Mirror currently most popular with? Is it A. 40 to 55 year old women B. 40 to 55 year old men or C, 25 to 35 year old men and women. So other people might read it, but who is it the most popular with? Question number 10, final question in the newspaper round. The Times has a coat of arms as part of its masthead, which includes a French phrase. What is the English translation? Is it A, the power is yours? B, fortune favours the brave? Or C, God and my right. Okay, that's the end of round one, newspapers. Get ready to mark your answers. Okay, so question one. The answer is B, news of the world. So it closed as a result of the hacking scandal. So that's a good thing to look up actually if you don't know about it. And question number two. So newspaper sales that fell um, in 2009, the smallest drop of them was B, The Observer. So the smallest drop of 3%, The Observer. Not great, but better than the others. And question three, the most left-wing, is A, The Guardian. So that's what readers think. And readers think for question four, that the uh, furthest right wing is C, the Daily Mail. 
And the slogan for the Times newspaper, current slogan for question five, was B, Britain's most trusted national newspaper. So that was in a vote that it, um, it was voted the most trusted. So they weren't for that, for their slogan. And question six, the Daily Mirror slogan is fighting for you. A, that was. And question seven, the colours features on the Daily Mirror on the masthead are C, red and white. Should be an easy one. And for question eight, the newspaper that sold the most copies in 2019 was C, The Sun. And for question nine, the Daily Mirror is most popular with A, 40 to 55 year old women. Then finally, question 10, the English translation is C, God and my right. Okay, ready for the next round. Round two, magazines. Question one, what is the genre of Vogue magazine? Is it A, fashion and lifestyle, B, makeup and fashion, or C, fishing? Maybe. And question number two, how is the big issue distributed? A, it's sold in shops and online. B, it's sold only in local shops, or it's sold on the street by homeless people. Question number three, which actress was featured on the front cover of Tatler magazine in April 2017? Was it A, Georgina Bevan, B, Kira Knightley, or C, Rebel Wilson? So that's one for AQA GCC students there. Question number four. How would you describe the font of Tatler magazine? Is it A, cursive, B, sans serif, or C, serif? Okay, question five. Which of these celebrities has been on the most Vogue covers? A, Lauren Hutton, B, Gigi Hadid, or C, Audrey Hepburn? Question six. In 2017, how much did the magazine reveal cost? A, 99p, B, 150, or C, 199? Question seven. Seven. In 2019, which of these fashion and lifestyle magazines had the highest circulation figures? Was it A, Vogue, B, Cosmopolitan, or C, Good Housekeeping? Question number eight. In July 1965, Sophia Loren was the cover star on Vogue, but what was she famous for? Was it A, singing, B, acting, or C, dancing? Question number nine. What is the term for the title of a magazine or newspaper usually positioned at the top of the cover? Is it A, the main cover line, B, the masthead, or C, the tagline? Okay, final question. Question 10. What is the big issue's main aim? A, to raise awareness of homelessness, B, to provide food banks, or C, to dismantle poverty by creating opportunity? Okay, ready for the answers? Let's go. So, what is the genre of Vogue magazine? It is, of course, A, fashion and lifestyle. Question two. The big issue is sold, C, on the street by homeless people. Not during the lockdown though, because it's not safe. Right, question at three. The actress featured on the front cover of Tatler magazine in April 2017 was A, Georgina Bevan. Question four. The font of Tatler magazine like the font of Vogue magazine, is C, serif. So when you have like those little strokes on the end of each letter, it's a serif font. 
And question five. The celebrity that has been on the most Vogue covers is A, Lauren Hutton. So probably before some of your time, you guys. Question six. In 2017, the cost of reveal was A, 99p. Very cheap magazine. And question seven. In 2019, the fashion magazine, fashion and lifestyle magazine with the highest circulation figure was C, good housekeeping. Not for me. And question eight, Sophia Loren was famous for B, acting. Okay, in question nine, the term for a title of a newspaper or magazine, usually at the top of it, is B, masthead. Should be an easy one, that one. And then finally, the answer to question 10, the big issue's main aim is C, to dismantle poverty by creating opportunity. Okay, so that's the end of the quiz. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me a little comment to let me know your score. And I'll see you very soon. See you next time. Bye, take care.